Hello, happy, I don't know, it's like Tuesday, I think, yes, it's Tuesday. I get all excited to do that, and then sometimes I, like, I'm not fully quite prepared, <laughs> but that's okay. So, I am super excited because I've been putting together, I say this every time, I feel like, but I've been putting together a live stream for today. Um, what I was working on was some storage, some organization, um, a lot of kind of different finds but then as i was putting things together i saw things on deal i saw things kind of you know i don't know change and i wanted to share a whole bunch of deals um for you so i feel like i'll just put it all together um if you have any questions i'm ashley i already see like everybody like hopping into the chat um let's see zane and tq and jlo amazon customer of course thank you for the follow um richard hi Cool. Um, yeah, so let's just like kick it off. Um, as I mentioned, I wanted to just kind of work on and share some like storage finds, small space organization, kind of things like that. Hello, Michelle. Um, mostly <laughs> because I was someone who lived in a really small kind of like apartment for a while. So I'm like very well versed in small space things. <laughs> so well, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I'm Ashley, this is Swift Wellness. So feel free, add anything into the chat. If you see me kind of like looking over this way, it's literally because I'm watching the chat um, so that I can kind of grab your question. So, all right, first and foremost, storage organization. I want to chat about all things um, you know, surge protector and organizer, but I also share this outlet extender like pretty frequently. Um, but I did notice today that the other one that I share often, like I share these two kind of back to back all the time. Um, that one is on like a lightning deal today. So I'm going to put up this photo and then kind of just like talk about the two kind of in unison today. So the one, this definitely falls under storage and organization because like organizing cables and all of that makes my life so much easier and so much better. Um, but most specifically when it kind of comes to organization, this is the nightlight version of the outlet extender that I share. So I'm just gonna highlight that one really quickly uh, because it does say that it is 76% claimed on the lightning deal. Usually I stream a lot earlier in the day. So I do see kind of along the bottom, a lot of the different kind of items and such do say a time. Um, looks like this outlet, for example, is about to end in about four and a half hours or so. So if you are kind of tuning in, watching lightning deals only last until either the deal ends. So in this case, like four and a half hours, or the quantity runs out. So uh, who's, who's sharing it? JLo in the uh, chat was sharing it. it. Looks like it's about 76% claimed. So I do share both of these pretty frequently. Um, so I am gonna go highlight the main one that I share. So talk about storage organization and the like. So this is the one that sands any kind of night light that you see here in the photo. This is kind of my go-to. Those of you who watch like, you know, my stream frequently have probably seen this a thousand times, but I feel like I can't do any kind of like storage or organization stream without sharing this because it definitely kind of falls into that category. So this one in particular, a little bit different than the nightlight one because you can see that this one has that indentation so it's going to sit kind of directly over the faceplate of your electrical outlet um, whereas like this one you can see would sit more flush so if you've had some you know kind of difficulties with an outlet extender kind of like this falling out um, not staying like put or just kind of getting heavy and losing any of your electronics. This is definitely the one to choose. Um, it does have this right here um, in the center, which is a screw. So you could take the screw out of the center of your faceplate and put it through here. So that's really going to um, kind of seal it onto the wall. 
but in this case I've literally never once attached it to my wall um, or my outlet through the screw kind of here in the center it sits so kind of flush against the wall that you really don't have to worry about that whatsoever because it does kind of hug this one so this one's slightly different than the um, one with the nightlight, like I said, because it does have that groove and that indentation. But then also on the side, it's going to take that single outlet and that single plug um, and turn it into five. It also has three USBs. And this one's a little bit different because it has that lightning charger, that USB-C. Um, but if you don't need all of that or you want the night light on here, um, hey John Tay, thank you for the follow. Um, this is a touch light. So you can see here, this is the night light. It kind of goes all around the center of the outlet. You have six plugs instead of five, but then you only have the two USBs. So this has a couple less plugins than this one, for example, but you are getting that kind of usability of the nightlight. So you can see this little light, little sun here at the top. This is all touch. So this will come on automatically as it gets a little bit darker in your room. So you can set it and tap here on the top and do a low, medium, or bright light or you can completely turn it off if you don't want this nightlight functionality. So um, <laughs> Michelle says, I picked up one with a light for the coffee station. I love it. Um, works really great for that. And like I said, it does auto um, turn on and it auto turns off based on the light in the room. It automatically will sense that. So kind of your choice, which one you prefer, which one you like, but I did see, and I'm highlighting it right now, that the one with the light there in the center is about 76% claim. So if you are looking, um, I would just snag it, put it in your card, check out, etc. Um, hey, Pamela, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Okay, so like I said, I do have a bunch of lightning deals on here. So because the sponges are already up there, 76 it says, I'm going to highlight those. I'm going to jump ahead to that part of the stream. I'm going to take down this nightlight um, so that I can share these. So these are makeup sponges. So if you're looking for an affordable alternative to like beauty blenders or like more expensive kind of like name brand sponges, these are like the absolute best. Um, and yes, I know, right, Michelle? I was doing really good today putting together my stream. So I will also point out, and I forgot to add this to the stream, but I'm gonna add it to the chat really quickly. Um, you can take an extra, let's see, there we go. Take an extra 20% off the Beaky Makeup Sponges with the code I'm just, I'm being like very like easy today so I can add it. This is the code. Um, you can add this into that promo code box at checkout. Let me see here. Paste. There it goes. And you can take off that extra 20%. So if you are looking at the stream right now, these are literally already 55% off um, and they come in a set of five so like i mentioned these are a really great makeup sponge if you're someone who wears like a kind of liquid uh foundation so i want to show you what they look like once i've added like a little bit of water so in this case you can see they're just really soft really spongy what i like about a makeup sponge this is what they look like when they're not wet um, is that if you are using a um, liquid foundation, for example, you can use so much less when you're using a makeup sponge like this than if you were um, like I used to do in like in high school. I'm not proud of this, but in high school I used to pour it in my hand and I would literally rub it on my face and you would get so much makeup all over the place. Um, and then I moved to powder for a while. And then as I like went back to liquid foundation, I used the brush, but it can get so heavy and so thick and so gross, like right away, um, just by putting all of that on. I know it's like disgusting to think about what we used to do when we were <laughs> younger. Um, 
it's gross. So what I can do actually with this sponge is I'll do like one or two like pumps of a really lightweight foundation. I'll put it onto the back of my hand and then with a light kind of blotch, then I can add it to my face and it gives you a lot lighter coverage than if you were doing um, like a brush, definitely better than your fingers <laughs> or anything like that. So I do wanna show you what, like I said, they look like this is Without the water, you just take one of the sponges and you just run it under that water for just a little bit. Squeeze it, make sure you get like all the water out and then this will help you kind of add it to um, your skin and really blend it in really well. So after I use like a liquid foundation, then I would just take my brush um, or what I like to do too is take the sponge and I'll just put it in my powder and then I'll tap it onto my face and kind of um, blend it in that way too. Um, and so like JLo said in the, the chat, they're 55% off, but if you add all of those other discounts, that code I added into the chat, they work out to be, what, 375 for the set of five. So really, really good. I just stocked up on a couple of these. They are on a deal that looks like it's at ending in about three hours or so. Um, so I try to like buy these before <laughs> I share them so that like y'all can't just uh, buy them up and I don't get a chance to like get my own, right? So um, let me see if there's any other lightning deals really quickly. Uh, hey, King Henry, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So I do have a few other lightning deals. So I'm going to just like hop to those and we can come back to the other ones as well. I just don't want anyone to miss anything. So this is my popcorn popper. This is another like frequent um, item that I do share on my stream, but this very, very much falls under um, storage and organization because as you can see here in the video, you can fold it down and you can store it in your cabinet. You could store it in like underneath the sink or even in a drawer if you have deeper drawers. Um, so it looks like this. And I'm already a big fan of sharing anything that's like very budget friendly, very um, economical. <laughs> um, I definitely think we are all on a budget. So I like sharing this because you could literally go to your favorite, um, you know, Costco, Sam's Club, etc., cetera, um, and buy kernels like this, corn kernels in bulk. Um, to Judy, yes, they are absolutely still available. If you're watching on your mobile phone, in the bottom right hand corner, there'll be a little shopping bag. If you click on that, you can see everything that's in the stream right now. Um, if you're on your desktop, it'll be underneath um, on the kind of browser window underneath my stream. You can tab to the right or to the left and it'll take you to those sponges can actually, I'll just highlight it really quickly. Um, so if you're on your mobile phone, you can click on it and you can see. Um, and then also, I always tell everybody to, I think a lot of people have different mobile views, but <laughs> the best way to watch is to click on the video that you see, don't watch it from like your, you know, kind of like the home page or your browser page. You want it in that vertical window. So then if you do click on a product or something like that, and you go to it, you want more details, etc. It'll pull my live stream and make it like a little sticky video. And so then that way you don't lose me <laughs> if you go to click on a product and then want to come back later. So that's my little tip for you today. Everybody has, you know, iPhone, Android, etc. I think have different views, um, but that's the best way to see everything too. So Hopefully that helps. Um, and like I said, I did highlight those right now for you, uh, Judy. So you should be able to grab them that way. So switching back to the hot pop, like I said, um, and then of course, Jayla is just kind of sharing all of that down below as well. Um, yes, awesome, Judy. I'm glad that helped. <laughs> it's always hard because everybody sees something a little different and I'm trying to make it so everybody can see 
everything. <laughs> um, okay, so like I mentioned, this works really, really well for those of you who don't have a lot of space because you don't have to have a huge popcorn bowl. You also don't have to worry about, um, you know, having all of those like single use popcorn bags around. I personally hate those. I hate that film and that greasiness that like fake butter popcorn like leaves on your teeth and like the top of your mouth. It's gross. So what you can do, like I mentioned, is you can buy your bolt kernels literally anywhere. You could go, um, like I said, Sam Club's, uh, Costco, you could buy from a local grocery store, etc. And all you're going to do is you're going to add those kernels to the very bottom of your hot pot. So you can see if you get really close, there's like those two rings here on the bottom. I do know that there's like a measurement <laughs> like that goes along with this. Honestly, um, I just kind of eyeball it and I just pour some in the bottom. You're just gonna put them into just like this in this like tall silicone bowl. You're gonna add your pop lid and then you're just gonna place it into your microwave. I would say on average like two and a half minutes or so um, or if you have a popcorn button on your microwave I do not um, use that and it'll automatically set for you so this will just kind of naturally pop up with the kernels as they pop and if you fill this like all the way up to the very top with the kernels right you should get about 15 cups of popcorn in this entire bowl so of course silicone is great because you can see like how bendable and like how flexible this is but you can also take this this becomes your bowl so you're not dumping that bag into a bowl and then throwing the bag away um but when you're done you can literally just toss this into the dishwasher like nothing will happen to it um it's perfectly fine that silicone will wipe away kind of all that butter and all that grease and all of that and probably the best part is obviously if you're trying to cut down on how many like calories you have in your popcorn you're trying to use less oil or butter or fat anything like that this is a great way because you don't need any oil you don't need any butter literally you just pour the kernels into the bottom and add the lid and you're good to go um hey judy <laughs> Hello, thank you for that follow, I appreciate it. John Mark, hello. Um, TQ says, I pop mine with olive oil. So you can absolutely use whatever you like. I personally pop it without anything on it, and then I melt a little bit of butter, and then I sprinkle like really chunky, um, kind of like salt flakes on top and give it a really good shake. That's my personal favorite way. Um, hey, Deneen, <laughs> thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. That's my personal favorite way, but um, maybe some people like, I've seen so many different options. Some people put candy in with theirs. Some people put um, like kettle corn, right? A little bit of sugar, something like that. So really makes it easy for you to kind of customize your popcorn, but also makes it really easy so that you don't have to overload with that butter um, or oil or you know artificial ingredients whatever come in those weird plastic you know kind of paper bags right um hey chip thank you for the follow appreciate it um <clears throat> and then of course like i mentioned it is so much more budget friendly to just get those kernels in bulk make your own popcorn make it how you like it so it tastes good to, you know based on what you want and you're good to go. So this is um, on a lightning deal today. There are so many different colors and it's like an under $15 kind of find, but definitely falls into that storage and organization because it folds all the way down into this little tiny bowl here. So you can slide it into a, um, a cabinet, you can slide it into a drawer, et cetera, et cetera. Um, hey, Robert, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that today. Um, okay, so I'm just like going through, like I mentioned, kind of just looking at all of these lightning deals. I'm going to take this video of the popcorn popper down. Of course, if you're, you know, kind of coming through and you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. Um, 
what did I just highlight? Okay, so this is another really great kind of like a space saving idea as well, but also another kind of easy way to store your utensils. Um, but also another good way to protect your like glass or stainless steel like appliances can also protect your countertop as well and it's a really easy to clean little silicone rest so you can see here this is the smaller of the two there is a larger version of this silicone um, you know utensil rest if you're using it like outdoors and you're doing something like grilling and you have long tongs or like big spoons or things like that i would probably recommend the extra large size this is a little bit smaller this would be really good for smaller utensils um i have the nessies here so i'm going to use this to kind of demonstrate but if you're using a spoon or something like that this is going to be the better size as well. So for example, if I was using, ignore this on the end here, but if I was using this as a spoon, I can rest it right in each one of these grooves right here. And then this will be the rest for you with your, you know, your tongs, your spoons, your spatulas, anything like that. So if you are cooking um, and stirring or scraping or anything like that, when you rest the utensil here, this acts as a drip pad. This is a drip tray. So oil, grease, all of that stays off of your cooktop, stays off of your countertop. Um, and even better than that is silicone is great for heat resistant. Um, Judy says, I have one of these and it's great. <laughs> I love it, right? So it works really well. Mostly I personally like it because silicone is so heat resistant. You could put this on the top of your oven, like obviously not directly over a coil or a hot pad, but you could put this adjacent to whatever you're cooking and you don't have to worry about it getting too hot um, because this will absorb all the heat. It won't melt, etc. Um, and then of course they come in a ton of different colors. So this is the mint. Um, and I do believe that they are all on a lightning deal today. And then also if you wanted to do that larger one, like you're using it outdoors, like I said, for, um, you know, grilling tongs, things like that, I would recommend the larger, longer version so that you could rest those and have that space for that kind of drip tray that grease and all of that stuff the little charred bits on your grill too that are like so tasty <laughs> i love all that um so another like under ten dollar fine really great for like that little storage area too like i said um that allows you you can put one two three four four <laughs> little utensils and then i do believe that the uh, larger one has an extra um slot as well too for you there um okay so another <laughs> one of the items and i know that some of these are like not storagey per se um but i do think that they all kind of like fit within that storage theme so we're going with it um enjoy <laughs> so the reason i'm saying that these are um great for storage is because they do kind of stack and they do go together um, another one of those lightning deals, this is literally uh, ends in what, like four and a half hours again as well, about 50% claimed or so. So if you're looking at these with me right now, um, do keep that in mind. They're like 38% off or so. So these do come in a set of three. These are two ladles and then the third one is actually a tea infuser. So you could obviously use this for tea. You could put like little, you know, kind of like chocolate bombs in here. You could steep something in water if you like your fruit infusions or, you know, anything like that. Um, but this is the only one that is silicone. So both the soup ladle and then also the strainer are made of like a plastic material, but they are BPA free, they're food safe, dishwasher safe, which is the most important part. Um, so all of that is definitely big for me. So like I said, I think that these are personally kind of great for um, like parties and anytime you want like a fun kind of slightly different gift idea. 
Um, but they do stack, so that's where I'm going with storage and organization today. So this is the largest one. So this is what they call the Nessie family. So you can kind of see the Loch Ness monster. Um, this is the strainer ladle here. So you can see how big this is. This would work really well for um, kind of scooping out pasta or if you were scooping out any kind of veggies or anything like that that you want to strain out but in like smaller quantities so you're not wasting and having to use a huge big colander um, so definitely working that into that storage angle as well <laughs> by having this kind of like smaller multi kind of purpose ladle and colander together plus it's just adorable look at the little like Loch Ness monster it's very cute um, <clears throat> and so then <laughs> within there obviously it can stack with the soup ladle so slightly a little smaller variation. This has completely, um, you know, kind of solid spoon bottom. So this is your soup ladle. This is your, um, you know, kind of a big, you could use it as punch bowl, anything like that, that you want to kind of a ladle out versus the colander, which is of course like porous here in the bottom. So these two little guys go into that set. Um, and then the third part of that family, like I mentioned, is the tea infused or strainer, whichever you want to use it for. So you easily could put, like I said, fruit, or if you're someone who likes electrolyte tabs or little pouches like that, you could open this up <clears throat> just like this. And then you can see this is where anything would steep out and then off the top as well. And then this can go directly into your cup. Um, and then oops, I'm just like sliding this back in just like this. And then it allows you to almost use it just like a spoon um, to kind of steep your tea or whatever you're using it for here. And then also allows you to like let everything kind of infuse out um, into your drink or your beverage. So I do say tea because obviously that's <laughs> kind of what um, like, you know, I would say that's probably like the number one thing you'd use it for. Um, but yes, I think it's super cute. I've actually found this brand yesterday. I was sharing stuff, like I said, from Sweetwater. And I was like, I have a lot of these Sweetwater products. But honestly, <laughs> um, like I go down rabbit holes. So when I found this brand, um, I think it's called Ototo maybe. I like got these and I have like the garlic crusher and I have a bunch of like different like products from them because I just thought they were all so cute and so fun and, and all that. So um, hopping through uh, to some of the other lightning deals really quickly. Um, also, maybe not quite, um, <laughs> um, let's say storage per se, but I do think it works well um, in addition because I do think that they're very, very portable and also like very easy um, to store. So we're gonna go with storage solutions for that, right? Um, these are a pack of rechargeable hand warmers. I have definitely shared these before. Um, I'm going to put this video up so you can kind of see while I'm talking about them. Um, another one that is a lightning deal, but there is a, let's see, there is a 20% off coupon code that stacks with the lightning deal for the rechargeable hand warmers. I'm cheating with the talk to text today, guys. So <laughs> Richard already beat me to it even. So it does take another 20% off. Um, and there are a few different color variations and they do come in a set of two. So there are a few different um, versions. These are the UT3 um, light. So there are some, and I have one, that is a US, or like a portable power bank. <clears throat> These are not. These are very small and portable and compact, storage friendly. Um, and so these could very easily go into a pocket. You could put them in your palm, obviously. Really, really small here. So you could easily put them into a coat pocket. You could put them into a pants pocket. 
talker. <laughs> it pans a pocket. Um, and then obviously keep yourself warm on the go. So the reason I like these as like a storage option as well um, is literally because they are super, super small and very portable. <laughs> I know, pans pocker. Today is going to be like whatever. I'm just like you know, it's midday or it's like midweek. It's midday of a midweek. How about that? Um, <clears throat> but super, yeah, they're very fun. Um, so these are small little, um, very, very portable hand warmers also have three different heat settings. So you can easily click the button. We're talking like under 10 seconds. It already starts warming up and then you can go all the way to that highest heat. Um, and these will last you somewhere between four and eight hours, kind of depending on how long you're using it with what level of heat. So obviously if I'm using it on the highest heat, then it's going to be, um, it's gonna last closer to that four hours. But if I'm using it on that lowest heat setting, you might get closer to eight. So, um, hey Terry, um, and also T Gray, thank you so much for those follows, I appreciate it. Um, so you have a lot of lot of time with that in terms of like how long they'll last. So these are not only really portable and obviously very storage friendly, but these are another really good option if you have somebody that you're shopping for, or you have somebody that you know that's a camper or a hiker who loves to play golf or hunt or anything like that where they're outdoors for a long period of time. Um, or you're just like me and your hands are like always cold right now. Um, these are <laughs> like super, super great. And also, like I said, incredibly affordable um, in terms of not only that lightning deal, but having that extra 20% that stacks. So Richard, of course, is sharing everything in the chat um, right now for me, who is awesome uh, and so if you have questions please let me know i'm definitely watching the chat i know there's a lot of messages kind of going but i promise you i am looking for any questions that may or may not um you know be popping up through so don't feel like you can't ask a question i am absolutely here to answer them so um and then one final thing with these small little portable hand warmers as you can see, it does have a removable um, lanyard here. So if I wanted, I could make it a little wristlet or I can easily just slip this off and take it off entirely. Um, and then, as you can see in the video, but I have them right here, I love this. <laughs> These are very much one of those things that you kind of you know overlook until you have to charge them but it does come with one single port so this is that single usb and then it has two of those usb c's so that you can charge your hand warmer at the same time so you don't have to switch it you don't have to use two ports on you know your outlet extender or anything like that um, you very easily can just charge them at once they charge super quickly um, and like i said they will last between that four and eight hours depending on um, the level of heat that you're using so um, I appreciate the pro comment Michelle I'm trying <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I appreciate it and then of course as JLo said and as um, Richard said as well there is that stackable 20% off so makes it a total of the 40% off today so we love it all right here is a, a lightning deal that looks like it's getting close to being um, over. It says about two and a half hours or so left, about 53% claimed. I was just sharing the hand warmers because I think that they're great for someone who loves to hike or camp. But this is a super fun little storage solution for those hikers, for anybody who is frequently going to the gym or is just away and they want a um, kind of water bottle that they can take with them that is also leak proof. And as you can see, 
folds down into this little tiny square. So this is silicone, of course, which if you've <laughs> been listening, um, is obviously very, very heat resistant, but it is also very foldable, bendable, and in this case, collapsible. So as you can see, there's this little tiny loop, and then that is what's going to go around this folded silicone right now, and that'll keep it all together. So if you wanna pack it up and you wanna store it, um, that's how you're gonna wrap it together so that it is um, you know, very kind of packaged up. So there are other colors of this, so we're just gonna go with that, but this silicone is heat resistant, but it's also cold resistant. So if you were out camping or you were hiking and it was really, really cold, this gets very, <laughs> like can last and withstand some very, very cold temperatures as well. So I like this specifically, as I mentioned, because it is leak proof, but it also has the little screw top here. And then it has a really wide mouth for the water bottle as well. So if I'm unscrewing this, you can see that it has this really wide mouth bottle. So I personally am a big fan of like taking like ice or if you want to do any kind of like fruit infusions, like if you like coconut water or, you know, cucumbers or oranges or anything like that, it's really easy to put this through that wide mouth bottle. Um, but it's also so much easier to clean when you're using um, that big wide mouth. So silicone, of course, can go directly into the washing machine. So you can um, see, really easy to clean there's no like kind of like nooks and crannies for like grossness to, to kind of like um live in there right and then of course when it is empty and you want to um close it up it literally breaks down into this little foldable just press it down or press it up Oop. very bendable soft-sided um water bottle there you go gotta push the air out um, and then you <laughs> have that as well. So when you're ready to wrap it up, I'm just gonna put that little band around the outside. I'll just screw that lid back on and I am good to go. So you don't have to worry about, um, again, it being too hot or too cold. This is very resistant. The silicone itself is not super insulating like a stainless steel or something like that would be, um, but it is going to keep your colder beverages cold or your hotter beverages hot. Um, but again, it's not insulated in the same way that like a stainless steel bottle would be. Um, <clears throat> and then also Kim, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. And then just before I forget too, if you're wondering, this is about a 20 ounce bottle as well. So this is a pretty good size bottle, um, to add in again, water, your beverage of choice, whichever. So, all right. I think that that was all oh, nope i did skip one other lightning deal hey corinne uh thank you for that follow i appreciate it so these are a set of food storage containers and i do share and i do have them in my stream right now the glass containers those are usually my go-to um, but i do specifically like these because they are super super easy to use but even better they come in a set of 32 pieces um, so that you have a huge variety of sizes you have smalls mediums larges and the like the best part about these here specifically is that it doesn't matter how big of a container that you have, they all use the same plastic lid. So all 32 of these storage containers will use the same lid. So if you're someone like me who literally hates <laughs> like digging around in your um, cabinets or you can never find the right lid, anything like that, this is going to be the set that you absolutely need. So like I said, they all use, whether they're like tall skinny ones like this, smaller shorter ones, or any of that, they use these little snap lids. So just like the glass containers, for example, these are airtight. They have this silicone seal that goes all the way around on the inside and then they snap over 
the container as well and then that is what gives you that seal so that you don't have to worry about any air getting in but then they're also leak proof if you're adding something that is liquid and it spills um you know or you you know don't want to <laughs> lose anything like if you were putting like some of the smaller ones obviously when it's larger like this you're probably not gonna put like sauce in there for example but the smaller ones you obviously could easily make a sauce or something like that um, and then store them as well so the difference of course with plastic versus um, you know glass is that these aren't going to be like oven safe like the glass ones I'll share here in a second um, but what is nice these are dishwasher safe so you have 32 of these really really affordable um, plastic containers but you can toss all of these into the dishwasher um hey yeah pretty um is there if there is a question just toss it into the chat let me know um can i be that would be something you would need to i can't help you with that directly you just need to reach out to um like the faq on there as well or like reach out to kind of like amazon customers and then they will help you so can't help you with that one on a stream unfortunately so um and so then also you can see here in the video, what I really like about these is they have these little chalkboard style labels. So if you were um, using, in this case, I'm putting cereal like into my like taller, larger container, um, you can easily write on here whatever you want. And then when it is time, this empties and you don't wanna have cereal in it or whatever anymore, you can easily wipe that off and those labels are completely reusable as well so um, you can easily 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 switch what you've put in here as well so like I said these are a set of 32 and then these all have that same matching lid so you never have to dig around for like 20,000 different size lids in <laughs> your um, cabinets like literally ever again so always fun um, I'm going to take this uh, video down. So I do think that that might have been all of the lightning deals. Did I skip any? I don't think so. Um, so we can kind of go back to uh, kind of the beginning here. So just because I talked about the plastic ones, I felt like this was a really quick, really good segue over into the glass containers um, that I share all the time but they still are on deal they still are super super affordable um you will have a f like smaller quantity of containers but the difference with this of course being that um with the glass whereas with you know not the plastic um you can take these directly from the freezer into the oven into the microwave you can do um all of your cooking and your baking in these glass heavy containers that are also leak proof like i put a bunch of water in here or you could use these to kind of keep um air out as well so if you're doing any kind of like pre meal prep you're doing make ahead meals you're storing things kind of uh long term in like your freezer or something like that these are going to be awesome to keep out any um, unwanted air prevent spoilage all of that type of stuff uh like michelle says shake 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 I love these things and like literally I keep sharing them because they're still on deal um, and I think that they're a crazy crazy good deal so of course I was putting together storage options today and solutions and all of that stuff um, and so I have to keep sharing these so I will point out that these that I have here I'm gonna put my um, glass con food containers back up here go there you go um <clears throat> i will put those back up so you can see them i do want to point out that the ones that i share or have here same brand same exact everything um these are just simply like the fancier version they're the fluted kind personally i think they're kind of cooler <laughs> um but they're literally the same glass by the same brand they're joy joel really 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 good set and this one i didn't put water in so I'll open this one. So very similar to 
the um, plastic containers where you can see they have that silicone ring so do the containers for the glass these containers just or these lids just like these lids all of them are dishwasher safe I always like to tell everybody to take now of course I can't pull it out but if you are washing these make sure they go on the top um, rack of your dishwasher but i always tell everybody whether it's the plastic or the glass version of these lids is to always take this ring out so that you can wash in this little kind of like crevice right here so many times so much gunk and grossness can get trapped in there um, that even a dishwasher right can't get to so um, these are plastic with the silicone ring on the inside but I will point out that somebody, I forgot who it was, maybe it was Yogi, that had said that they literally like bake in these because they are that thick, heavy glass. You can see that little lip here on the side. Super thick, super heavy. Um, and then they'll bake, you know, a little mini cake or they'll bake their casseroles or whatever in whatever size and then let them cool. And then they can just easily put the lid back on and store it right from there so these are great for that um, and like i said really good for going from the freezer into like the oven or the microwave when you're <laughs> meal prepping so you don't have to dirty extra dishes you can just go with these so um, i'm gonna just show just a bit so you can see me better um <clears throat> and then the other thing to point out is whereas the I dropped that. Whereas the plastic containers do say 32 pieces, and that means 32 containers, the set of 24 pieces that you see here is actually 12 containers. So you have the circular, you have the rectangle, and you have the square in a small, medium, and large size. And then with the small, you do have um, two of that smallest size. So two small of the circular square and rectangle one medium of all one large of all so this is for example the largest of the circular and then this is the smallest of the rectangle so um very very great set and like i said totally worth it um especially for their like functionality their usability and just the fact that they're on a crazy deal <laughs> so you're gonna keep seeing them on my stream until um you know they aren't on deal anymore so you're just gonna have to deal with it um <clears throat> all right these are ones that I haven't shared in a while. So let's just do these because I think everybody is like, show me something cool, Ashley. So I refer to these as my Harry Potter bags. These are, I literally bought so many of them um, when I moved into this house because they are literally the only thing that I've used that are durable, that haven't ripped, that haven't gotten damaged. Um, and these are like, what I literally feel like if you I refer to them as a Harry Potter bag because like you know watch the movie read the book and then you know that it just you can just like ne you know your never ending bag so <laughs> this video I think does a really good job of highlighting it and then I also do have the bag here next to me and I've kind of like shoved some stuff in there so you can see um they come in a set of six you can do three um, I think you can do even eight maybe. And these are the 90 liter version. So this is, I think the largest size, but 90 liters is huge. <laughs> and so in this video, you can see, I think I stuffed like four standard size pillows in there, right there. Um, or if you're familiar with that, like the famous Amazon coat, that's me folding it right there and putting it into that bag. And then there's shirts and there's coats and there's jackets and there is so so much stuff um, and so definitely as we're talking about like spring cleaning and storage and clothes and like all of that these are like my absolute must have for any kind of like closet organization or any kind of like storage um, and so I want to kind of like show you kind of like what they look like in person and 
what I do like specifically about these bags that are a little different. Let me grab this here so you can see there is a variation of this. There you go. That does go vertically. So these are obviously the horizontal version. Um, I think that they're great because you can do more stacking this way if you have more vertical space. But the you know vertical bags might be better if you have more of um, you know kind of like horizontal space in your garage, in your basement, in your closet. So you can see on the top, and really you can see it best in the video, is that there is a zipper that goes all along the top. So you can completely fold that top back and you can completely fill it up with everything that you need to go in there. Um, it works really, really well also because you can fold them up and you can store them. I use these like when I was moving for all of those like weird things that when you're packing um you, you like can't you just don't know what to do with like do you do a whole garbage bag full of shoes do you do a garbage bag of something else I don't know um so I put all of those in there and this is the first time I've moved actually and I learned that uh this is the first time I've ever had movers say like I like they will not take anything unless it's in a box and so they took these so <laughs> so it worked out well because when they told me that I was like what what do you mean oh no because like I put things in laundry hampers and I put things in like random boxes whatever so these work really well as like a square box for something soft um, so like Michelle said putting new bedding in washing and storing winter stuff exactly these are so good for that so you can see this is like um in here right now is a king size like mattress cover and i ha still have so much room here on the top am i moving no i am never moving again is what they say um like as a homeowner i don't have to move anymore <laughs> yay um so no movie. This was the last time I'm moving in a long, long, long time. <laughs> um, so yeah, so those of you who were in the stream yesterday probably saw like my like weird, funky vintage house. Um, and eventually I'll do some like home projects and probably film them and stuff, but <sighs> it's fun, right? It's also like rainy and gross here right now. So um, yeah, I planted some seeds this weekend. I put some seeds outside, so I'm excited, but um, so speaking about then that material as well, I, <laughs> here's the thing, y'all can like, how about this, y'all just do a uh, GoFundMe, right, and then just fund me, <laughs> me flying to Cleveland, or vice versa, and go back, we'll just have like a, like a, hot what is what there was a show right hot in cleveland or something like that but um yes <laughs> i need to take this video down it's like kind of in the way but so um no moving here uh i won't be doing any of that for a while but what does work really well about these two um and as i was just kind of showing you is that they have this really strong kind of like um like they call it a non-woven material, but I personally think it feels kind of woven. It is very, very hard to rip it, tear it, break it. And you can see here on the side, these are the straps and they are like stitched in so well. Um, like I said, I had movers picking these up, tossing them around, throwing them, didn't rip, didn't tear. I bought some of those like kind of like blue tarp bags once when I moved and literally the movers ripped every single one of them from the handles. So we'll never buy those again. These worked amazing. Um, so that is my uh, PSA. So I am like a very cheap human being. Like I like am just, uh, you know, very much a Scrooge McDuck when it comes to spending money. Um, but I feel like movers are that one thing that I like will spend money on. That is like my one splurge purchase because, or cost or whatever you want to call it, because they are worth every single second in my back and my mental like ability. They all like just beg to like, I don't, I can't move like that again. Ugh. I have also, like, as a mid-30s woman, I have 100% like, 
um, expended all of my ability to ask friends to help me move. I feel like you hit a certain age where your friends are like, nah, <laughs> like, nah. So, all right. So since we talked about bedding really quickly, I did also want to talk about new bedding for like the spring and for the summer. Um, <clears throat> and I did share some pillowcases yesterday from Bedshare that are that kind of like cooling bamboo sheets. Um, and this was just the pillowcases. And I did say that they do have a sheet set. Um, and so I wanted to share that today. So very much exactly identical to um, the pillowcases. These are such a great um, kind of set of sheets for kind of transitioning into the spring, transitioning into the summer months when it's really, really hot. Um, or if you're just somebody who is a night sweater or just sleeps hot or hot flashes or anything like that, breathable, breathable, breathable bamboo. Um, <laughs> Richard, I'm, you're killing me. I'm telling you, y'all want to do a GoFundMe, crowdsource it, and I will film that entire flight. It will be fun. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know if y'all could handle it. So I am, I, by the way, I am also really warm. Um, not even, this is completely unrelated to Michelle's comment. Um, so if you are um, <clears throat> someone who wants to kind of switch up the sheets, like Michelle said, like I am, you know, um, ordering new bedding, I'm doing new things and I, I want to store my winter bedding, put them in one of these bags, put them in the clothing bag and then switch over to your bamboo. So bamboo is incredibly lightweight. It's a really thin, very breathable material. Um, and they're also really silky kind of soft. So microfiber obviously has that kind of really like brushed soft feel. So maybe those are a little bit softer, <laughs> but I personally prefer the like, silkiness, I think, of like bamboo over that like really kind of like thicker brushed feeling of like microfiber. Um, but they can also be just really, really durable. So if you're looking for a set of sheets, um, I would recommend like bamboo for that reason. And these are also a, like a very a deep pocket fitting um, set of sheets as well too. So if you're looking for one that'll fit kind of like those deeper mattresses and things like this, I do believe they're up to, I think they're more than 16. Let me, I was trying. I have a pillowcase in my hand, so I'm like, well, how deep? Um, 16, yes, 16 inches. So, of course, these do come in a set, um, as sheets do, um, with two, uh, two pillowcases, a flat sheet, and then a fitted sheet. If you're doing a um, twin set, then you're only going to get one pillowcase instead of two, but it's still that full kind of like complete set. So these can go into the washing machine. Like I said, they are um, a very durable set of sheets, very silky smooth. Like the pillowcase, for example, will also have that envelope enclosure, um, in which case, let's see if you can kind of see that. I can't give you a good like look on it. Let's see maybe I'm trying to like fold it over so you can see that it does have this little extra flap here and that's what's going to wrap around the inside of your pillow and keep your pillow in your pillowcase at night as you're sleeping so um that kind of blend with rayon is what is really kind of the silky softness but the bamboo is the breathability that moisture wicking um and very very relaxed <laughs> yes ak hello this is very much uh live so if you have any questions ask away let me know I'm happy to answer them um, with the set of sheets I do want to point out that I did link twin size sheets but they do also have all of the size ranges twin all the way up to California King and they have tons of different colors as well so the twin set that I shared in the white actually does have an extra 20% off coupon um, change the color and change the size you'll probably see the price change as well. So some of them have that coupon, some don't, some have a deal, some don't. Um, but they're a really, really great set of sheets if you're looking for um, something to switch over into with the spring. So, all right. 
let's talk about yesterday. I did share this, um, and I don't have a snazzy video for you. Um, if, if you've, um, I feel like I've talked about this before. I drive a really old car. Um, and so what's really fun about driving an old car is I, I don't have cup holders. Like I literally don't have cup holders. I can fit a drink in between the two seats and the emergency brake. That is my cup holder. Um, <laughs> so, um, I always like to share this for, um, with, for people who have like newer cars. This is a, um, cup holder mount <laughs> that has a kind of expandable tablet holder here. So you can actually go from about, um, just under five inches and you can expand it all the way out to something that is a 13 inch device. So these are like very, very large, um, tablet holders that I did share. Um, and, oops, let me highlight it really quick. And they are also under $20 today. They are in that literally are 44% off. And then I did notice if you do buy a two, um, that actually will stack another 10% off. So I don't know if you have a um, second car that you drive or you have somewhere that you might want to put an additional one, um, but you can stack um, the two and just get that like extra coupon code as well. So wanted to share that, but the way that this works is really great because honestly, you can put this into your cup holder and still be able to put in your um, insulated mug, your cup, your can, whatever you're using um, and carrying. But you can also have this expandable kind of um, adjustable arm here so that you could easily in the passenger seat, you could use a tablet here to look over. You could also put this into a cup holder and send it down the center council. So between both seats, so somebody in the back seat could be watching. Um, or if you needed to use it as like a phone in like convenient, you know, kind of holder for your phone, if you want to go hands free with driving directions and the like, you could also do that. So I personally, and like, I feel like if my dad was watching, he would go, yes, um, is that keeping anything kind of off the dash kind of keeps your whole, uh, line of sight and your vision in your, um, you know, kind of your mirror or not mirror, like your windshield. Right. And so you don't have to worry about kind of creating a blind spot by putting something like this on your dash and then blocking an area of your view. So I personally like to keep everything kind of down low. Um, and then obviously go completely hands-free, use your directions, etc. Uh, Richard says he's a wise man. I know, like I was so sassy when I was like 16 or just got my driver's license. And I was like, but I want to put, something on the rear view mirror and it's like well yeah because you put something there and it looks cute and then yeah exactly like Kindle customer said is like you completely destroy your line of sight you create that blind spot um, and it also moves and wiggles when you're you know driving and it's just like very distracting but 16 year old me is like whatever I don't care <laughs> so on here, like I mentioned, this goes into your cup holder. So if you take this and it does 100% look like you're going to break it, but you can actually bend it and flex it so that it fits within your cup holder. So I will say that it is much uh, it is a much better fit if you are um, in a newer car, for example. Um, some of the older, I feel like, cup holders are really narrow and really skinny, but this should fit a, I would say, fits most sizes. It's a fairly universal size. Um, hey, via to mom. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, and then of course, once you put in your tablet, your phone, anything like that, it has two adjustable knobs right here. And so I can just loosen these and then adjust this to wherever I need it. And then of course you can just tighten it and then it will stay in place and it's not going to move. So still gives you that, you know, uh, versatility, that functionality of <laughs> that um, cup holder but then still allows you to have that adjustable arm as well. So uh, we all tend to do things we shouldn't. I know, I know. I like think back on all of that and I'm like, 
Oh, she was a girl. She was a girl. Um, okay, so I've been skipping around. What did I skip or what did I miss here? Okay, so I have a couple other things really quickly. I'm like trying to decide which way to go first. So I love this little pizza cutter. So this is like a good um, segue. We were kind of talking about like I don't know, like kitchen things, and then I got segued, but we're gonna go back to it. So this is probably one of those kitchen gadgets that I share, and that's always a super popular little gadget. Um, and it is a great space saving storage option too, because if you are putting things away in drawers, you have little kids, you just are like me and you will absolutely uh, cut yourself if given the opportunity. This will have a cover on there for you. So you don't have to worry about that. And then of course you could take your um, pizza cutter and you could immediately just put it into the drawer and save space on your countertop um, versus using like one of those like canisters for utensils. So hey Michelle, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oliver says, do you have a dog? He was in here and now he left, <laughs> but yes. Um, so this is also, I refer to it as a pizza cutter. That's what they call it, et cetera, et cetera. However, so many of you, when I've shared this before, have told me like, I use it for this or I use it for that. Um, I've heard people say they cut off crusts with it. I've had people say they use it to chop herbs. Um, so many options. So pizza, I promise you, is not the only one. Um, you could cut dough really easily, I feel like, with this too. That would be another really great kind of use for it. Um, and <laughs> thanks, Oliver, for the follow. I appreciate it. So this is how it works. Like I said, it's a kind of a hands um, handleless pizza cutter. So this becomes your handle here at the top and it gives you a little bit, honestly, I think it's a little bit better because you can push into the pizza wheel a little bit stronger and a little bit harder um, versus one having with like the handle, right? So you can push down, which I think is why it's great for like sandwiches and crusts and dough and stuff like that. But the best part is it has this little plastic cover um, hey Ezekiel, we do have live streams, so hello. Um, <laughs> the best part is this little plastic cover, so you can see as I've been kind of like messing with it, this clicks in to the handle. So if I was using it, um, I would just take it, I'd open it up, and it'll come back here, and it'll click, and it'll hold it into um, the handle. So then you could just use your pizza cutter, dough cutter, whatever you want to use it for as normal. And then you're just going to take it from here and pop it open and then it'll slide all the way and snap closed so that it's not coming out or moving as well. So if you want to put it into, like I said, into the drawer, you're not going to have to worry about anybody cutting or um, hurting their fingers. Uh, thank you. I am an amazing host. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, I appreciate it. So, like, you know, we're actually talking about products today as opposed to like normal where I feel like we just go down this like very long um, conversation where we never talk about anything. <laughs> I feel like sometimes like the people at Amazon are probably like, girl, come on. <laughs> but that's okay. We have fun, right? Um, and so, of course, then this also breaks down really easily as well. So when you want to wash it, this entire thing um, is machine <laughs> is dishwasher safe. So I'm just going to pull on this. It opens it up and then it breaks down into three separate pieces. And again, all of this can go into uh, the dishwasher just like this. Um, but you love green. I do love green and I don't. Um, yesterday, I think when I was sharing all the different kind of like gift ideas and finds, I had no idea that I picked green, I think for the notebook and a few things. And I was like, oh, I'm so predictable. Like I really am. Um, so like I said, a really fun little kind of a gift idea. It's actually and or kitchen gadget, um, but it was very, very multifunctional. If you have, like I said, kids and you're trying to prevent little um, fingers from getting damaged, but you also have kids and you cut off crusts, 
or you're an adult and you cut off crust, whatever you want to do. Um, it does work really well for that. And it is a 60% off little kitchen gadget today, um, which makes it an under $10 find too, which is such a good deal um, for your um, gadget of the day. So um, <laughs> thanks, Oliver. Um, okay, so I keep skipping around. Okay, let's go over to these storage bags so i i just keep the world going with monster energy drinks so that's what i do um you know the usual <laughs> so oh here comes the, here comes the dog there goes the dog mm -hmm. hey, the record show it is four o'clock um in on the west coast so still energy drink time all right so talking about the vacuum seal bag. So, oops, this is a very small photo. That's fine. We'll use this. So if you're looking for another space saving option, you could actually use these two things in tandems. You could use the clothing bag that I shared, and then you could also use these space bags. But when I moved from Texas up to the Northwest, I actually use these a lot because I took full advantage of the Southwest policy where you can take two checked bags full free. So I put as many clothes and as much stuff in some suitcases as I was going back and forth as humanly possible. And it was made possible by these bags. So let me show you kind of like in this picture is what it looks like um, if you are kind of filling it up and you're not using, let me go like this so you can see, um, if you're not using the vacuum sealed part. So these come in a lot, lot of different sizes. To give you an idea, this is, let's see, the large size. So the large size, let's see, is 24 by 32 inches. Um, and they look like a really large, like really big Ziploc bag, but they have this little port, which is a vacuum seal port. So on here, and it is upside down on here. Let's go this way. There you go. So you can see. So you would put in your bag, your sweaters, your blankets, your comforters, anything that you want into one of these bags. And you'll see right here on the bag and on that line, there's this little stop. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put everything that you want to vacuum seal into this bag, and then you're gonna not fill it past the stop. So in this case, I just fill it up. I put sweaters and blankets and all of that, and you're just going to seal it just like you would a Ziploc bag. And you're just gonna go all the way here. And then it does come with a hand pump. So here's my thing. If you have to use the hand pump in your like traveling, use hand pump. Don't use the hand pump if you have a vacuum cleaner. It works, I think, way better. Um, and it's much less labor intensive. <laughs> um, so this is that port. So if I'm gonna untwist this cap and I'm gonna take that vacuum cleaner hose and I'm gonna put it directly over this cap. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull out all of the air out of this bag. And so it's gonna take that same bag and it's gonna seal it down so it's much, much thinner and you save, there you go, so much more space. So you can kind of see right here, pulls it all down so that if you um, take it into a uh, suitcase or things like that, it works really well. Uh, Michelle says, do these actually work? I've bought different brands and they leak. These, I can promise you, I used, um, like I said, when I moved from Texas up to the Northwest, I used these in my suitcases and they work really, really well. If you're having issues, um, and I've only used this brand, this is Space Saver. I, I don't know anything about the other brands, um, but what I have found is a couple things. If it's leaking, chances are either it's not sealing well here or you're overstuffing it. I definitely have overstuffed them and had them leak, but that's why I also really like using the vacuum instead of the hand pump because I feel like it gets more air out because you like pull out the air and then you have to do the really quick like 
you know, really quick cap here. Um, but I've definitely used these, like I said. Um, this is the only brand I've used, and they've worked really well for me. But I will definitely say if you ignore this stop and you really fill it full, you're probably going to have issues with leaking. So um, Michelle says these are the real deal. Um, so, yes. Um, and they also come in tons of sizes. So if like, this is like a really good size, um, I would say for like comforters or bedding or things like that, that you want to store away. But if you want something that's a little bit smaller, um, they come, like I said, this is the large, so they come in like mediums and smalls and you can kind of stair step it down um, and find one that works well for you. So, um, but definitely I use these a lot and they save me so much space, but, um, okay, let's see. Hey, <laughs> um, everyone. Oh, the flu sounds like it's don't like, no, don't like, I feel like I'm like Sheldon when like, he's like, by sawing everybody and like covering his nose. Um, that's <laughs> my life. Um, <clears throat> so let's see I have I think two more things and that's about it today um so I added this to my stream and my mom immediately texted me about this so let's talk about this really cool expandable bamboo organizer so another storage solution really great um you can use it for definitely like I do silverware but you could also use it for like utensils you could use this in like a craft drawer um if you wanted to do you know um you know, brushes and, and pencils and things like that. Or you could use it in the bathroom. You could easily do makeup brushes and different products and things like that um, because it is a expandable drawer organizer. So bamboo, as I talked about earlier with sheets, is just a really durable kind of really great material to, you know, use and work with. But bamboo is great. So something like the bathroom for example it is a waterproof material so I wouldn't suggest drenching this by any means but if you're using it in the bathroom where there is humidity or you're using it somewhere that you might spill liquids or things like that bamboo is going to be a lot stronger and a more durable material for that um and here's how they work and this is why I like them um you know kind of for all different kind of storage uses um is that they do expand out so I'm going to kind of sit back so you can kind of like see um it's not going to expand vertically so this is going to stay the same it's going to be about 17 inches or so but I have it upside down it there actually really isn't an upside down there's just a you know whichever way you want to use it but let's say this is the top so this is completely contracted into the center so you can see there's three smaller slots a little bit longer and then two horizontal up here but you can expand it out to almost 20 inches so it goes from 13 out to about 20 um, based on like the width of your drawer so you can just go like this and as you expand it it's going to give you an extra um, compartment here on this side and then you can also expand it there you go. I'm gonna like lean back on this side so if you're expanding it out you have these extra two sides or you could condense it down you know here you could condense it down all the way back to that 13 inches um, and you can really store kind of like everything in there that you want so I refer to it as like a silverware kind of expandable storage but I do really think it would be great for like crafts paintbrushes, pencils, you know, things like that. You could easily use it into the bathroom or really in your home office, etc., etc., etc. Um and this is pretty lightweight. I've never <laughs> I've never peeled off this sticker on the bottom. Um <clears throat> but <laughs> you want to one thing I would say is like make sure that you measure the depth here. For most people, I feel like that drawer depth it's about two inches or so so for most people I feel like this you know their drawers are nowhere near this shallow but if you're wondering um, you know kind of if it will fit in your drawer definitely measure like from the inside of the inside of the drawer but then don't neglect like the height of this as well so <laughs> I am I'm just like leaning back 
but you know, the usual. So, um, <laughs> um, I feel like that was the only thing I had to say about that. So this is of course bamboo, um, and it's the bamboo color, right? It's not stained, it's not painted, it's, it's nothing. Um, but if you prefer, there's a gray, there's white, and there's black if you want one to match your aesthetic and you don't like this like wood color. Um, I personally just like it because it's natural. That's where I, <laughs> like my first thing, but um, hey Sylvia and then Boriquen Queen, thank you both for the follows. I appreciate that so much. Um, okay. So we did chat about that. Okay, I think there's like one thing left here. Um, hot have I ooh, gross. Uh no flu. No flu anybody. <laughs> Keep it away. Um, hey, Ali. All right. So I think this, this is the last little item talking about storage and organization. I feel like I shared like every single kind of container today, plastic and glass and all of that. So I feel like we might as well combine glass and bamboo together and kind of make a, um, you know, final like storage container. So uh, bamboo, like I just mentioned, really great because it is waterproof. I, however, would not recommend these should really just be for dry storage. Um, and the reason is, is I've used kind of like um, lids like this for plants and it will not even though this is kind of like coated a little bit and kind of treated, it does tend to get a little um, damage from anything that's like wet. So I would only use these containers for things that are dry. And if you're gonna wash the containers, these are glass, so toss them in the dishwasher. But I would hand wash these and make sure they really dry well before you put them back like on a container like this to kind of prevent any like humidity and moisture from getting trapped like in this glass in this jar. Um, ask me how I know. Um, I've done it. So <laughs> keep these for dry things for sure. But these do create a airtight seal and a lid. Um, but that is not, however, waterproof or like like uh, leak proof. So these do give you that air, that airtight seal. And you can hear if I go like this, like they have that Oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but you can kind of hear it as I press down into it and you can see that silicone seal. That's going to keep the air out. So in this case, um, I have sugar in here, um, but you could put pasta or cereal or rice or beans or anything like that and keep it fresher or longer because you're keeping out that air. Um, and these of course come in a set of five. These are that glass container and this like a bamboo lid. Um, and then just like anything that isn't plastic or even anything that I did share that is plastic, um, these are all BPA free. This can go in the microwave. This could go into the dishwasher. I would hand wash these lids though. Do not put these in. They do get damaged. Um, so definitely hand wash these, but the glass, of course, it can go into the dishwasher. Um, hey, Susan, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that today. Um, and then of course they do come in that set of five and they are all different sizes. So this is going to be, I think this is the medium size. The really tall one is really great for pasta, for example, like spaghetti and stuff like that. I primarily use these for like sugar, brown sugar. I keep like nuts in here and things like that. Um, so just easy to grab kind of, um, you know, containers that will help kind of preserve the um, food a little bit longer. So, um, oh, the, the small one has a coupon today. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> Yay. Um, okay. So let's see, I think. Oh, I just realized they put two versions of that same container in here today. So don't mind me today, guys. Um, I clearly was like, I have to share these plastic containers. So <laughs> there are two different versions. Um, the 32 piece one is obviously a little bit bigger than the other one, um, but the, the 32 piece is on that lightning deal and it actually ends in 15 minutes. Uh, so it says. So. Let me go back really quickly. 
because I was just looking at this. So there are a few lightning deals in the stream today that all do have um, deals that look like they're ending pretty shortly. So I do have um, a few in here and some of them still have about like three hours left, but specifically the uh, hand warmers here. These actually have that 15 minute left over still. So I'm going to just flip back to them. And then like Richard said, I'm going to put it also in the chat. The hand warmers are on a lightning deal and they also will stack with that extra 20% off coupon for a total of 40% off today. Talk to text is great. Um, let me make sure it didn't say anything weird. Okay. <laughs> so I will use these for like a storage discussion um, when it comes to, you know, all that because they are super portable. They store really well. You can <laughs> take these with you anywhere. You can put them in a pocket. You can put them into a purse. You could put them into a fanny pack, a pouch, anything like that, and carry them with you. These do come in a set of two, and they are also magnetic. I don't think I shared that last time when I showed these. So these are magnetic. They don't, I mean, they like you still can like pull them apart if I try really hard right um but you can hold these together as one if you really want to kind of like amp up the warmness or you can use these separately you can see that they're like the perfect kind of like palm size um hand warmer for you as well uh Bella thank you for the follow I appreciate it and then of course they do have this little button here at the top these are rechargeable where's the little rechargeable thing so they do use this little um micro us usb-c <laughs> not a micro usb usb-c they do charge and then they have three heat settings here so whenever i share these usually the first question i get is how long do these last they would last up to about eight hours if you're using like the lowest setting and if you're cranking it all the way up hottest setting possible i would say about four um, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, kind of just depends, but, um, very easy to charge. This is my favorite thing about these actually, where did it go? Where did I hide it from myself? Is that it does come with the charging cable. This is a USB on one side, and then it has the USB C's on the other. Um, and they are really going to be great for, um, charging both at the same time from one Oh my poor. This is a great segue into these little guys before I like kind of end this stream. Um, but like I said, you can charge both of these little, I don't know. Those are like the little things that always get me and I get excited about. Um, but very, 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 very affordable. As I mentioned, they're under 25 with the lightning deal um, that is 20% off but you can stack that extra 20% off coupon code. Um, it does end in 12 minutes. <laughs> Very rarely am I the streamer that's like, buy it now. Um, but it literally ends, like you can see the timer clicking down um, if you click on it yourself um, and it does end. So the lightning deal will disappear, that 20% off will disappear. Probably the coupon will stay. I They don't tell me those things, that's above my pay grade, but um, if you want the 40% off, you'll want to add it to the cart before that uh, that 11 minutes runs out, AKA probably the end of the stream, but I digress. Um, <clears throat> and then of course I do have this black and silver version. Um, there's pink, there's orange and blue, I think. These are also the UT3 um, light. So these are just a hand warmer. If you want, there is another variation. I own it also. Um, that is larger than these, that is a power bank as well. So it will be both a hand warmer and it will be the power bank as well. But this comes in a set of two. Um, I think the power bank ones are just a single one. So um, just want to point that out. Um, let's see, go over here and I'm going to slide back to the 
since I was just talking about chargers and ports and all of that, let me just go back to the two that I did share a little bit um, at the very, very start of the stream. Um, these are the two, you know, charger like wall outlet extenders that I share all the time. Very much uh, a storage stream, kind of like must have. Um, and the one that has the night light here is also um, the one that is on a lightning deal today. I'm looking at the listing like live and right now and it's like 77% cleaned. It's got about three hours left, but it's about 77%. Um, so there's two variations. My go-to always, if you like the light, this is the great one. This is the one I would suggest. Um, it is a tap to touch here. This is an auto sensor. So as it dims and gets a little bit darker in your room, it will automatically come on. But if you have kids, if you want just a great all around storage option for your cables to expand um, you know, that small space and really make the most use out of your outlet, this is the one that I would a million times over suggest because this is the one that I have found will sit the best, the most flush against your wall because of this little like groove and indentation here. So you can see how there is that kind of hollow, whereas this one just has a flat back. So of course, I think this one's great um, and I, I obviously recommend it. But if you have kids or dogs or you plan on like putting something in every single one of these outlets, this is what's going to stay the snuggest and the most secure against your wall because it's going to hug that outlet cover and it's going to um, really be like the most secure for you on the wall. So definitely the biggest <laughs> suggestion that I have um, in terms of like outlets and storage and the like is something like this. Um, it does take that single US or single outlet and it extends it out into five. And then you'll also have your USB and your USB-C as well. So um, it definitely is probably hands down the best for so small spaces because it's one of the only that I feel like I see that has that USB-C. Even this one with the outlet just has the two USBs, even though it has an extra AC outlet kind of port right here. Um, so those are the two that I always, like always, always, always will share. I'm highlighting the one right now with the um, a nightlight kind of in there as well. So let me just do a really quick hopscotch kind of through um, all of the items today. Let me hop back to um, the Beakies. Um, these are the makeup sponges. They come in a set of five. I did share um, a little bit ago the coupon code that goes along with it. Um, hey SG, thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. Um, I did share the coupon code that goes with this. These are already 55% off um, and they come in that set of five. So, oh no, oh no. If you're looking for um, one that you can drop on the ground, let's grab this really quickly. Oh. So if you're looking for a more affordable alternative to a makeup sponge, like the, you know, kind of name brand, like beauty blenders and stuff like that, these I feel like work just as well, sitting back up here, but they um, are going to be a much, much, much more affordable option. So it looks like they're, what, 87% claimed on the lightning deal. They're literally just over $5, but if you're adding that 30% off coupon, like literally they're less than a dollar a piece. So this is what it looks like when you are just, you know, pulling it right out of the box. And you can see this is the size it becomes when you add that water. So a makeup sponge is just a really good way to use a lot less product and still get a really good coverage kind of throughout your face, under eyes, nose. My nose always gets super red when I'm doing these streams. Um, and I don't traditionally wear like a lot of foundation or anything like that. So sponges like this gives you a lot lighter coverage, but still really even. 
much better than your hands, much better, I personally think, than like a brush, for example. Um, hey, Amazon customer, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. So I just wanted to, to kind of highlight these that one last time just because they're on such a crazy good deal today um, and really, really affordable. I literally bought two boxes recently <laughs> um, because I like really, really like them. So, um, hey, Melinda, thank you for the follow. Um, just like I said, it kind of just really quickly like recapping all of these. This is also my very storage friendly hot pop popper. This is a silicone bowl, allows you then of course to put in your own popcorn, buy it in bulk, buy your kernels, all of that. Toss it in, no butter, no oil, nothing. Um, and they can just be added into your microwave and pops up to 15 cups of popcorn. So like I said, there we go. a really good storage option if you don't have a lot of space because this can go into the dishwasher and then you can also just fold it back down. That little lid tucks in here and it's only a couple inches tall instead of having like that really big bowl, you know, kind of taking up space in your cabinet or taking up space um, underneath a sink or anything like that. You could easily slip that into a drawer if you have a little bit um, deeper drawers as well. So one of the things that is on Lightning Deal today, I have read, of course, there's tons of other colors, that teal, that blue, that green, um, that you can kind of pick and choose from. Also on that lightning deal that ends in just a little bit, it's like 70% claimed is the Nessie family, which is super cute and really fun. <laughs> um, and it's a set of uh, three little Loch Ness monsters that are adorable. Um, one of which is a colander. So you have this big ladle strainer spoon, and then you also do have a soup ladle. So a really thick kind of a big ladle here. And then the third one is a tea strainer. So you could put your tea bag in here. You could put um, cucumbers. You could put anything that you want to infuse into your water, whether it's hot or cold. And then it acts as almost like a spoon or a little stir on the inside of your cup. Really, really cute little addition. Um, and like I said, they come in a set of three in that little family, as they call it. These are, this one is silicone, the smallest one here. And these two are plastic, but these are a very thick, thick, heavy food grade plastic. These can go into the dishwasher um, and you don't have to worry about doing any kind of hand washing. So I love this as like a little kid style, like birthday party as like a punch bowl or ladle or something like that. But they're also like really cute and whimsical um, just as an addition to um, your kitchen as well. Okay, I think that that is pretty much all of the lightning deals that I chatted about. Like I said, I did already talk about um, the rechargeable um, hand warmers, which have a minute left. <laughs> Told you it would be like right at the end of my live stream. They do have a minute left, so um, I'm just gonna be that person counting it down with you. So if you do see these on the stream and you're like, ah, then just take advantage of that. I did have it highlighted. Um, other than that, I think I talked about all of the different storage things today. Um, just kind of like highlighting those different things again. So I get to the end of all of those streams where I just kind of like talk about how you can follow, why you should follow all of that. Um, if you like hanging out with me today, you like affordability, you like sustainability, you like a really good bargain, um, you're like me and you like are a Scrooge McDuck, <laughs> definitely um, you should press follow. It's that yellow button underneath my stream right now. 
if you're watching on your desktop, it's on the right hand corner if you're watching on your mobile phone. If you don't see a follow button on your mobile phone, click on the video. Make sure you're watching in that tall vertical format. It's going to be the easiest way and the best way to still see the stream, but click on products and shop along because it will take my video and it'll make it a little sticky in the corner. So if you're watching and you lose my stream, that's the best way to do it. But that's also the best way to um, get that <laughs> follow button to show up on your mobile phone. Um, Mags, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. And of course, like I mentioned, um, Amazon will curate a account for you based on the things that you like to see. So if you like my content and you're following, you'll get notified when I go live. You'll also see my content when you log in. If I upload shoppable photos, videos, or the like, um, definitely want to check that out as well. I do also try to come on here with coupon codes, unique codes, um, things specifically for my followers. Um, so if you're somebody um, who loves an extra really good deal, then I would definitely um, make sure to follow. Like I said, a lot of those are live only. Um, and yeah, the best place to watch out for me is on Amazon, but I am trying to be better about using my social media accounts. They have told me I should do that. So you should follow me on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube and all those things. Um, when I have a robust social media presence, maybe I'll start shouting it out, but I have been told I should share on social media more, so I will. Um, so I'll be uploading these um, to my Amazon storefront once I am done. So if you want to watch this later, you can start, stop, start and stop and pause and rewind and fast forward. You can mute it, you can unmute it, you can do all those really cool things. You can also shop any of these after the stream or if you're on my Amazon storefront, um, you can also shop on any of those old live streams as well um, at any time and see me talk at length probably about all of these products. Uh, thank you, Kindle customer, for the follow. Richard, I will literally respond to you just so <laughs> to prove you wrong. I will be better. I'm trying to be better, but... So I think that is all. If anybody has any questions um, about anything in the live stream, feel free to ask. I definitely, absolutely did talk about everything in the carousel today at length. So once this does get uploaded, feel free to watch it again um, and get all of the questions answered or reach out to me, like Richard said, on um, one of those social media platforms. I'm Swift Wellness, literally everywhere. I'm trying to be better. Um, but <laughs> tune in for the next live stream. Ask a question there. It's probably the best way to get a hold of me. But yes, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. I am um, headed out for a few days again. My suitcase never gets unpacked as it is, but I will be back. I'll probably be doing a remote stream from my trip location again. Um, so if you're watching, yeah, I will maybe share some things that I packed. If I pack, I got to get packing. So that is what I will be doing today. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for tuning in and I will see everybody. Ooh, to Susan, um, if you're looking to obtain any additional discount, um, I don't have any left over on the stream. The one coupon lightning deal that I had did expire. Um, but if you are clicking on the listing of anything, you might see that additional added coupon. Um, I think that's the only one. I didn't have any coupon codes today um, specifically, but I will probably have some later this week or when I get back. So yeah, hopefully that helps. I hope everybody, like I said, has a great day. It is happy hour time in the West Coast. So see everybody later. Bye.